Hey YouTube, I just want to share this project uh, that I've been wanting to work on for 15 years or, or more uh, ever since I got this book Design, Construction and Operating Principles of Electromagnets for Attracting Copper, Aluminum and Other Non-Ferrous Metals by Leonard R. Crow and this is an illustration of his invention so this guy was uh, really into transformers and uh, Looks like he was an uh, education specialist, so uh, he liked to uh, build things for demonstration in the classroom. So he's got a lot of nifty ideas. This book was written in the, uh, I think the 1950s. So he shows, this is uh, his uh, AC electromagnet for attracting uh, non ferrous metals so you can see these different pieces of aluminum or silver silver coin that are attracted to his magnet and he also shares uh, some other interesting overview of electromagnetic fields and some different experiments you can do so one thing that is lacking is some design equations that would help you build or optimize his uh, AC electromagnet for non-ferrous metals and uh, but this is his overall design and it was a solenoid that had an outer laminate and an inner laminate core and there's this gap in between them the gap was then filled at least partially with these copper washers and what would happen is the um, this solenoid, this un unusual solenoid with this sort of outer and inner core would become magnetized uh, with an AC electromagnetic field and it would induce currents in the copper washers. So it's illustrated here. And uh, so these copper washers would have induced uh, eddy currents circulating in the copper washer. Each washer would act as a turn of an electromagnetic coil and then they would be able to um, the, the outer coil would be able to induce currents inside of a, a sample and they would have the opposite polarity of the inducing coil so naturally it would want to repel but the stack of copper washers also had an induced current that was similar and attractive to the current circulating in the sample and the net effect would be an attractive force on the sample. And he sort of goes over the theory of operation and he describes there sort of there being a region in the center of the solenoid. Uh, he calls it a cone shape area of attraction. So that would be the area where your non-ferrous metals, uh, copper and aluminum, would be pulled in by the electromagnet. So here's a, a, a smaller piece of aluminum. It's going to be repelled by the electromagnet. Try that again. Okay, power on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some of these copper disc slugs and I just put a piece of tape on one side so that electrically insulates it from the next slug so each one of these copper slugs is going to have currents induced by the main coil and currents are going to circulate inside the copper and this would be like one turn of an electromagnetic coil this would be the second turn third and fourth turn and so on. So I'm going to stack, stack eight of these together so we have our coils now full of the copper slugs. Here. And now let's we'll see if we can attract the aluminum. So now you can see that if I try to push the aluminum out it gets pulled back in towards the center. Now if you go too far it'll, it'll be repel repelled again.
Now it isn't very powerful, but it will attract um, copper, aluminum and copper. All right, this is a demonstration. This is a piece of copper suspended in front of the electromagnet. And you can see that magnet's off, on, off, on. So although it is a weak electromagnet, it is successful in attracting aluminum and copper. Okay, I'm going to share some electrical details of the AC electromagnet. And so we've got 30 volts DC, it's drawing 1.1 amps, feeding to the ZVS driver that is powering the coil. And right now this uh, LC oscillator is resonating at 46 kilohertz. Now what I'm going to do next is drop in the, the copper slugs. And this is just four copper slugs. I just put some electrical tape around it to keep it all tidy. And now what you'll see is the resonant frequency has shifted up to 60 kilohertz. So now with the copper slugs, the resonant frequency is 60 kilohertz. And with the slugs in, we have 2.4 amps of current draw. You see the aluminum is attracted to the center of the copper disks. Now the reason I think you don't see more of these um, AC electromagnets that can attract copper and aluminum is when well, they're kind of weak so it takes a lot of power to be able to do this little bit of attraction. Another thing is very specific to the shape this aluminum is getting hot but smaller, smaller pieces don't attract as well because there's not enough uh, material that is that has the cur eddy currents induced in it so it's harder to set up currents in the uh, the material so that it can be attracted and also larger pieces are so big that they're they have a net overall repulsion so it's it's narrowly useful for uh, for pieces of metal that are sort of uh, of optimal size, and there may, there may be ways to improve this, um, but it's kind of interesting, maybe worth further investigation. So so leave a comment uh, or let me know if you've tr built and tried some of these AC electromagnets for attracting non-ferrous metals.